I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. Before I get into Adam's question about macros, I want to address some of the topics or comments made on my last video of my training partner Justin doing front raises with 80 pound dumbbells. Now these comments or this video is really for the guys who liked the video, not the jerk offs who made the nasty comments. You see, because what I'm going to tell you sort of feeds into the topic of this video. You know, guys are always so critical. Oh, look, he's, he's doing this. He's swinging. Oh, oh, you think this is making those 80-pound dumbbells come up to shoulder level? Really? Then I tell you what, if he's doing this and swinging it makes it so easy, why don't you sit your skinny ass down there? We'll give you the 80s. And you can, uh, you know, bring them up to shoulder level for 8 or 10 reps. Better yet, let's put it in more of a clear perspective. Let's give you one-third of your body weight in one hand, and I want you to raise it to shoulder level. And you can cheat it all you want. You see, guys get all critical and obsessive about dumb shit. I mean, really, because of what? They read this in a magazine, or it's on bodybuilding.com, or it's the weeder no-cheat principle. You ever watch people lift kettlebells in the gym? What are they doing? They're swinging them all around. But somehow, if somebody does this to hoist up one-third their body weight to shoulder level, they're an asshole. Really? Now, this kind of feeds into Andrew's or Adam's question about macros. He's like, Steve, I hear so much garbage about macros, proteins, fats, carbohydrates. You know, what do I need to do to get big? And what really is the most important combination? Well, you know... Probably the most important thing that you need to do, and you've heard it a million times, is train hard and train consistently. But with regards to the macro makeup, I like 50% carbohydrates, 30% proteins, and 20% fats. Now, you got to remember, if we're looking at trying to eat as much food as possible without taking in as many calories, if we lower our fat intake at 9 calories per gram, versus our carbs and protein intake at 4 calories per gram, we can eat a lot more food. So by dropping your fats, you're going to lower your calorie intake. But then you say, man, I need those calories for growth, Steve, and for energy. Well, you just raise your proteins and raise your carbohydrates. That's what guys don't understand. So they're so obsessed about eating. Oh, how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats, all this stuff. And really, the most important thing is that you lift. But a good combination is 50% carbohydrates, 30% proteins. Amazingly, we do need more carbs than proteins, and then 20% fat. And like I said, when you lower your fats, and again, guys are always, or people are always taking in non-essential or essential fatty acids. They're worried about eating that stuff. Oh, knock that shit off. Okay, we get more than enough of the essential fatty acids uh, than we know what to do with. And if you think taking in additional fat is going to help you lose weight, you got your head up your butt. So what we want to do is lower our fats as much as possible, allowing us to eat more carbohydrates and more proteins. And then what you have to do is you do what Justin was doing in that video. You lift hard and you lift heavy. And you don't worry too much about the little things like, gee, doing this, which actually takes some of the pressure off the shoulder and the rotator cuff before you snap that 80 or 100 pound dumbbell up. Same thing with curling, same thing with laterals. So with certain exercises, you do need to cheat just a little bit because it takes pressure off the joints and the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments. And you know what? Stop listening to those guys who don't lift anything heavier than their pecker. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.